The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. And he warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Ulang adlaw kanatong tanan. A very beautiful dimension that the first reading presents to us has something to do with the Lord Jesus being the High Priest who offers intercession for those who approach Him. And this is an interesting reminder to all of us, but a very challenging as well, that in His being our mediator, we partake of it, precisely because of our the so-called common priesthood. And what does this mean? It means that we also can do intercession for others. And this is precisely what we, have, we do when we, whenever we pray. We do not only pray for ourselves, but we also pray especially for those who have no one to pray for them, the lost, the last, and the least. And even people who actually are beginning to lose hope. And this is practically part of our package when we come into the Eucharistic celebration. We bear with us, we bring with us all the many different intentions. Sometimes we have to be very particular about it because sometimes our intentions may somehow sound like may untag madagma ang akong kaaway. That's not one of the intentions that we have. Even for those who persecute us, we also pray for them. And this is the very challenge that we have to face and to confront every time we come to Mass. Are we only coming here for my, for our own? But are there also other people part of our purpose and our coming here? As we continue with this Eucharistic celebration with St. Francis de Sales as a doctor of the church, one of the so-called point persons mentioned in the interpretation of the book of the Song of Songs, there is always an interesting way of transcending into what an ordinary book or event mentioned, but it always has to be brought into the level of God's relationship with us. And that is where our intercessory roles are found. To bring daily and normal experiences into a higher level because we are here in the Mass and we can bring it not only for us, but for others as well. Amen. <laughs> 